humans, nature, art, galaxies. Is there any relationship between all of these and mathematics? As we look at the details of nature, one thing stands out. This is the order, the patterns and the symmetry that surrounds us. Leonardo Fibonacci, an outstanding Italian mathematician, generated a long list of numbers by adding together in, in each case the two previous numbers. You can begin by 1 and 2, now add them together to get 3, now add 3 and 2 to get 5. The Fibonacci sequence keeps going like that, 1, 2, 3, 5 and so on. What Fibonacci realized was that this elegant list of numbers describes many items found in nature. He noticed that when we take two successive numbers from the Fibonacci sequence, their ratio is very close to 1.618, which is the golden ratio. This number can be represented by a rectangle or a spiral that surrounds multiple of these rectangles that follow the Fibonacci sequence succession. Its, its appearance creates a sense of balance, harmony and beauty in art and design we find in nature. Leonardo da Vinci is an example. Notice how all the cave dimensions of the room, the table, and ornamental chairs in the Leonardo da Vinci, the last super, were based on the golden ratio. Moreover, there are plenty of examples of the use of this number in nature. Take an example of a sunflower. The sunflower seeds grow in a perfect spiral based on the golden ratio. The pineapple also does the same. Humans also abound with examples of this number. The DNA molecule is made up of two interwinding spirals. We find the 0.618 ratio between the helix's width and the cycle length. The facial features of a koala bear show the golden ratio proportions in the dimensions and positions of the eyes, nose and mouth in relation to the dimensions of the face. But the greatest example of all is directly above our heads, at an average of 100,000 light years away. Uh, even the spiral of the galaxies are uh, formed with the exact design into the golden spiral. And researchers now say this number can be used to link everything in the universe, from space-time to biology to chemistry. We can say that this universe has a number that keeps everything in order.